We're going nuclear fission today. Show you the little fission rig. Here she is. And I don't know what the fishing regulations are right now. Fishing season's open, but I guess if we catch something, I'll just then have to look it up because I can't be bothered right now, but I'd like to eat some fish. Here we go. Here we go. So I was thinking, what kind of video do I want to look back on 20 years from now and see on this beautiful Sunday? It's fishing in the paddle boat. It's actually pretty busy out here too. Uh-oh, my caps are getting wet. Are you floating away? What the heck you doing? You gonna pike it? Catch a big old pike? You're shorty short. Oh, my shorties. Get over here. Okay, we'll check in here when we get piking. Nice. Pedaling. You're going the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> That'll make for a good end. Here's our little setup here. Sarah's gonna catch a big one. She keeps asking me very crazy theoretical questions about how what if a fish pulls her into the water and everything? I don't think she knows what kind of fish we're catching here. You never know, I've seen the, the river monster videos. <laughs> I might go in the back of the boat too. Fish off the back into the deeper water, pulling a big salmon from the back, you know? Oh yeah, well watch this. This is the cast where I okay, get not, a bite. Not too rowdy though, remember the camera's right yeah. here. Uh, so tell me about your biggest fish you've ever caught? Never. I was two years old and I was bigger than me. Fish was twice my size and I was wrestling him in, in the water. Nice. He gave me the old flap flap with his tail. I gave him the old one too. Fish are kind of like trees. They have rings for how old they are. Do they? Yeah. How do you find the rings? You cut them in half. You see how many years he's been alive. Maybe we'll hop in the back here. May as well show you around the boat here too. Back here we just got the sandal port. Over here, water and uh, fish bucket. I didn't bring any pliers, that would have been wise to bring. But uh, cooler, filming gear, snacks, and there's the front. The bow, is the bow of the front. Oh. Nice one. Thanks. I don't know what I'm gonna title this. Oh, did I get one? How about Some gone wings? fishing? Fishing gone wrong. Fishing gone sexual. Oh. I should probably tell you guys what kind of fish are in Gull Lake. First of all, this is Gull Lake. Welcome. Second of all, we got some pike in here. We have walleye. We have perch. We have burbot. Burbot. And we have bottom feeder fish. I, maybe that's a burbot. I don't really know. Or is burbot the Ely one? Don't ask me. I don't know. Anyway, there's there's four or five different types of fish in the lake. Today, basically, we're going for whatever we can catch here. Pike, I remember you can't, they, uh, they stopped allowing people to catch pike last year, two years ago. Um, so no pike today that we can keep. As far as I know, uh, perch have to be between a certain length, longer than a certain length and shorter than a certain length, which I think is weird. Normally it's just longer than a certain length. A walleye, you need tags for. I think my dad has some tags. Again, I, I don't know much about the walleye. But yeah, whatever we get, 
we'll Maybe show you. Yeah, that's true. I kind of hope we get one just for the views, viewers. Yeah. Okay, fish on, baby. I'm trying to help you get a better angle. But it might not work. No, just point at me because you can't really see anything yet. Did you actually get one? Oh, I actually got one. What do you think it is? Video too. I think it's a pike, just the way he's fighting. It is a pike. He actually got one! Oh, and he got away. Oh, what? You got it on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Go, Jamin, go! It is a pike. He actually got one! Oh, and he got away. Oh. How did he get away go. so last minute? Well, he was you. huge! Anyway, I was wanting to film, but I was waiting for the wind to die down. This is probably a better spot than any. Well, I just want to give a life update for future Jay Wheelie watching this video. And that is that Sarah and I have been wanting to go across Canada for the past year or so we've been talking about it. But we've never planned it, and it hasn't happened yet. So, I have set the goal for myself to go across Canada in June. And now, I don't know exactly what day it is right now. You know the date, Sarah? Maybe the 12th? Maybe the 12th of June. But, regardless, whether I buy a motorcycle and go across Canada, or drive across Canada with Sarah. I'm going across Canada in June. And I'd also like to do the uh, Alaska Highway Trail too. The scenic route to Alaska, scenic route to Alaska yeah. Because I think that that, it's gonna be very scenic. So, hey, the, look, the oh, point of the story, my rod is the point of the story is just to set goals for things, otherwise they never happen. And I was even talking to Sarah's parents yesterday about going across Canada. And, did I get another fish? And they were saying, um, you need lots of time to do that, like you can't do it in, in three weeks or whatever, because Sarah took three weeks off. But, the point of the story is, people always try to talk you out of things or say like, why stuff won't work, but you just gotta do it anyways, you know? Even if it's a rush trip across Canada, it's still better than no trip across Canada, so. I just wanted to say that. And back to the fishing now. Ooh, and I've also been looking at something called a Suron. And if you know what that is, it's awesome. If you don't, it's basically an electric dirt bike equivalent to like a 125 cc gas dirt bike but it has like bike forks on the front and pretty much bike suspension uh but no pedals they do have a pedal kit but anyways i've been looking at these because i don't like the cops on me when uh can i get another fish here no when I'm riding a mini bike or something, or a pit bike, and having this uh, feeling in the back of your head that you're always being watched and people are gonna yell at you and get mad at you. And majority of that reason is because of the noise. Like dirt bikes are loud and annoying, pit bikes are loud and annoying, quads are loud and annoying, loud cars with an exhaust are loud and annoying. And that's why people get mad at you nine times out of 10 is the noise. It's not that you're actually going that fast. Like I had a guy throw a, frozen piece of chicken at my car my first car when i was younger because i had a louder exhaust i was driving through a neighborhood and he thought obviously i was going way too fast so he threw a piece of frozen chicken at my hood and put a big dent in it that's so yeah so anyway that's the reason why i want one of these electric dirt bikes is so that people don't hear you and then you can rip around in fields and everything everybody every like mom and dad out there probably just thinks it's a an e-bike and you're good to go hit go to hit some dirt jumps and stuff right around the city the cops really don't know what to think of them yet unless you're you do a, like a battery upgrade and you're doing 100 kilometers an hour in a 60 zone which you can do on these bikes too you can upgrade the batteries and the the controller module things too essentially putting a new tune on it so I think that'll be really cool. So I'm, I'm trying to get a used one, but they don't really sell them in Canada yet. So I'll probably end up buying a new one if I get one. They're pretty expensive in Canada. They're like 
on the on their Canadian website. I was looking this morning. They're like fifty three hundred dollars or fifty six hundred dollars. They're pretty expensive, but you got to do what you got to do, right? Anyway, back to the fishing. Sari, what happened? I actually just my heart is pumping. I can't even talk. I got on. I was like, holy, this is kind of hard. This is kind of hard. I see the little uh, grass. Holy, <laughs> and, I, and then here, a fish. I saw him sploosh. Oh, he went whoosh. I want to cry. I never thought my heart would pump that much. You saw him? No, I just saw the splash. I was like, holy, heard, this is kind of hard. I should have done a little jig, jig, jig. Holy. How do you feel after that? Scared. I feel scared and um, I also like got a little nervous. <laughs> you got a big I got a little nervous too. Are you lying? Did your nose is crazy. No, my heart was pumping. I'm kind of glad he got away. Cool, nice one. Oh, I did it! Are you? Hopefully the neighbors don't see my weenie. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, well, we're coming to the end of the video now. Coming around that last bend here. What do, what do I want to talk about here? Don't be talking about something. Yeah, Sarah caught a fish, so she's pretty psyched about that. Except it was freaking scary. It's just so beautiful out here. I want to end the video, but I also don't, so. I want to put that video of the quad in. Oh, Sadie? Yeah. Okay, we'll end the video here. We'll put this video of a quad. It'll be good. See you later. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! If she's a rocket, don't come and knock it! Good day to be an angler. Good day to just do it all over again and.